All right, we're back. A little bit of a junk show out here. I mean, it's pretty much been raining <laughs> for like the last three months in California. So we're drying some stuff out today. Um, but here's our humble abode. And I just thought I'd give you guys a quick tour of the inside. So when you first come in the camper, um, right ahead is the dining room and kitchen area. But if you notice, when if you turn to the right, this is kind of where the master bedroom is. So there's door access on both sides, and I'll show you what that looks like. But it's just a little kind of a, it's a full-size queen bed. Um, you can walk down both ends, but then the end of the bed, you know, there's no space. it works out good it's kind of been fun to live in the camper full-time because everybody has their own store uh, wardrobe wishes so I really like drawers um, Brett prefer, prefer, um, prefers to have like some um, more like shelves so we did a hanging unit in his closet which is kind of fun to see what everybody likes so this is the master and then uh, headed to the kitchen. So once again, front door is right here. Now we need that chisel. Pretty small space. And we have to get really creative. So the tubs underneath the table there and the tubs to the right of the bench are um, kind of office supplies. And the drawers underneath is where we put all of our pantry stuff. Um, found this really cool little slick thin shelving unit uh, at Ikea and it's worked really well to store batteries and pens and cables and all kinds of stuff that we use all the time. Also because of the rain um, found these really cool little hooks off of Amazon and we hang those up so we can dry everything towels and jackets and stuff and want to take a quick introduction this is Madonna our mascot. So when you're sitting at the dinette, you can take a look and uh, there's the TV. And once again, I use those little hooks to hang stuff here so we can store gloves and hats. This stuff needs to go into a tub now that it's starting to warm up. Underneath, once again, uh, more pantry space and cool sto shoe storage. Yeah, and then the kitchen. Now there's always something on the countertop. Um, I hung this fruit basket to kind of get some stuff up off of the counters and that's been really nice to be able to have space like that. My sister introduced me to the command strips and those are like our best friend. So um, I use the command strips for everything. I got these at the um, a back to school sale. These are meant for lockers to hold pens. We just drilled holes in them and we could hold coffee and noon and stuff that we like to access really quickly. So. That's pretty awesome, and it's a pretty good sized fridge. And then Keegan's little nest up here. She's made it really snugly. Um, can't really see it, but that's the bookshelf that she and Tyson built. And that's worked really, really well. Of course, every home has to have a dumping area, the place to store backup cords and repair supplies and books, and that's the bottom bunk. So this is... Mackie's sleeping area plus all these tubs for dob kits and art supplies and more supplies and Keegan's laundry so it's just a little tight sometimes and of course you know hanging jackets we each have our own little zones for hanging jackets that's one thing you always need and that's tight in camper space living <laughs> and then looking at wardrobes this is Keegan's uh, Keegan unfortunately has to share her wardrobe with the liquor cabinet but she's a trooper about it and then lastly our little bathroom um, works out really good we have to store some stuff in the bathtub right now when we're not showering it's not too bad just a bag that I like to store wet towels in um, one of my favorite features though is this unit that we got from Ikea and it is the best because we can put q-tips and um, 
you know, things that we use all the time, but they have these little bungees. So when we travel around on the road, these don't fall out and make things fall everywhere. We can put our jewelry in here. So yeah, it's a slick little system and it works really well. So I've been wanting to show you guys uh, the mighty Phoenix for a while and here she is. Hope you enjoyed.